What's poppin' y'all? This brothers with Blinkies and we are back with another video, you heard me. And today, don't we got a super special video for y'all. Come on. So, we're gonna do a video on an A2 style rifle versus an M4 style rifle versus an M1 style rifle. So, let's do a rundown on what rifles we're using today. Bushmaster XM15 E2S. This was my uh, first AR-15 with post band, so it doesn't have a threaded barrel on it for you to put a flash hider, or muzzle, flash hider, muzzle device, or anything like that. Also, doesn't have the bayonet lug. I heard those was pretty effed up times. It does have uh, the fixed carry handle on it, and of course the fixed butt stock. A2 style grip. Yeah, that's basically it for this bad boy. I haven't done. Well, before I knew too much about guns, I was an idiot and put a collapsible butt stock on here and it kind of looked retarded. So I'll put that back on there. But other than that, oh yeah, got this angle foregrip on there. Also, I was a peon still to the gun world. Just never took it off. I mean, it's not that bad. It ain't that bad. Whatever. So yeah, that's the A2 that we'll be using in today's video. The A2, and then uh, so we just got. Then we're gonna move on to the M4 style, I guess, which would be the Sig 516, chambered in 5.56, has a Sig uh, Micro 3, uh, Juliet Sig Juliet Micro 3 on there, Sig Super Romeo 5. Uh, yeah, I dropped a video about the upgrades on view to this. I'll link it in the description if you want to see everything I've done to this gun. But this would be, if shit hit the fan, this would be the rifle I grabbed. Just best all around. Has all my attachments on there. Got my stream light. Uh, collapsible buttstock. Uh, mag pull grip. Everything. Uh, fab defense. Fore grip. And, uh, thumb hand stop on the side. Hmm. Yeah, so that's going to be the M4 of today's video. The old SIG 5.6. And then, finally, this is a PA 15 multi lower and then a PSA 10.5 inch uh, upper with the flash hider on it and the 12 inch M lock uh, handrail. So this will be the more updated version. The more common rifles that you see today are like this. Uh, this is a PSA, all parts from PSA, except for the, you know, the accessories. Also, I dropped another a video to this. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. This is about upgrades and everything I did to this. Uh, yeah, pretty fire video. Uh, all three triggers are mil spec triggers. All three triggers are the same. Uh, but yeah, so I guess without further ado, y'all, let's get into this video. We're going to do some uh, three-shot groups with each gun. So each one gets the best groups. And then uh, from there, we'll run some drills. Y'all know I ain't going to leave you without no Mac dump. Y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all, we are back. I'm going to go hot first with the A2 style rifle. Uh, three-shot group. Center mass of our target down there. We're about 30 yards back. Uh, how do I know? My trusty range finder finder with me today. Twenty-eight yards exactly. So about thirty yards back. Uh, I guess just from here, like I said, three shots center mass. Let's go check out the paper. I forgot to turn on the GoPro. All right, y'all. I'm not no professional, but free stand, I don't think that's too bad. A2, iron sights. One, two, three. Not too shabby. 
I'm, I got you on that GoPro footage for the next shots too. I'm sorry about that. Stay tuned. All right, y'all, we are back. I got the SIG 516 loaded up now. Uh, of course, we got the SIG Romeo 5 red dot on here. We are going to go three shots, center mass, and uh, see what kind of group we can come up with. Actually, no, this one I'll go headshot, so that way we can get a clear decipher from A2 to A, uh, from A2 to M4. So, y'all stay with me. I'm going high. Turn that red dot on. So let's go check out that target. Well, shit. You got something better with the iron side. <laughs> Trash! One there. One completely missed him. Would have just, wouldn't even hit his ears, just would have ring it. And then one in the neck. So, two kill shots. And then one missed, probably hit a little kid in the back or old granny. No good. Terrible. Huh? That's terrible. That's why we're here, y'all. We're here to get better. So, did better with the iron sights. Okay. Okay. Let's go try it with the uh, hemlock style. Okay. So we are back, y'all. We are uh, still 30 yards away, going with our three-shot group with the, uh, my 10 and a half inch barrel PSA. Once again, if you, I'll leave a link in the description to the video I did on the 516 with all the upgrades and everything I've done to it, and this whole build as well. Uh, so yeah. 30 yards away I guess we'll go back uh, to center mass and uh, do another three shot group why don't you do the shoulder none of your business huh the shoulder yeah all right I'll go for the right shoulder Go check out the paper. All right, so we got one, two, three. Not bad. I was aiming for the right shoulder. Still not tight groups. I am freehanding, y'all. I'm not sitting somewhere stationary. If I was sitting somewhere stationary, I could get my groups a lot tighter. Uh, we're gonna switch it over. Do one drill, probably one to two drills each with each one of the firearms we're gonna start at a low ready and then do a transition so I'll start at a low ready boom one on target or maybe two on target whatever I decide some on target and then switch over to the steel so y'all stay tuned all right y'all so I'm gonna start from a low ready I'm gonna go uh, two on paper and then I'm gonna go two on steel so come on All right, y'all, we are back uh, with that drill I was talking about. Two on paper, two on steel. On Chastity's go, I'm gonna start at the low ready. Go. I just don't wanna fucking deal with it. Let's do it again. 
I, did, I don't know what I was doing, y'all. I wasn't supposed to bring it down in the middle. Hey! Ain't nobody trying to hear that bullshit. Oh. I'm going hot again. Uh, on Chastity's ghost, same thing. Since I butchered that last one. Go. So bad. I missed. Not trying to make up excuses, but my finger, my glove did get caught in the trick record a little bit. <laughs> Alright, so we are back. Last time with the A2, y'all. <laughs> I think it's the iron sights. Not trying to make excuses, but I'm just not used to the iron sights. Fine, whatever, bitch. <laughs> go. Alright. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Alright, You ready? Go. go. That's as good as it's gonna get, y'all. <sighs> Let's go uh, set the rifle down and we'll check out the tape. All right, as y'all can see, I didn't tape nothing on, but uh, I'm pretty sure I hit every time I aim on paper. I aimed at the paper, I hit the paper, I'm pretty sure. Ain't like shit talking no stupid ass bitches. Just obviously everywhere, but all right. Let's try it with the M4. Alright, y'all. I should be a little better with the uh, M4 style rifle. I'll try and work a little bit more. I'll say that watching it be straight cheeks. But, uh. Yeah. Try. On your go, babe. Go. Hold on, let me make sure. It's not gonna be alright. I'm gonna chop it up. Huh? Bro, stop doing that every time. I'm sorry, I can't hear with these earmuffs on. Alright, on your go. Go. <laughs> alright, y'all. I finally shot my T-post in half. It's alright. We got plenty more for the target. Let's go get that set back up. We improvise, baby. I do got more T-posts. That's just, they're all the way up there. I ain't going up there right now. So we got a midget. We're shooting at a midget right now. Alright, y'all ready? Yeah. So, uh, on Chastity's go, y'all, we're going to do the same drill. Go. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. Which one y'all think I was the best with? Best with? Obviously, I went three times with that uh, Bushmaster. But, uh, yeah. Obviously, man. I like the new up-to-date stuff. You can put more accessories on it, build it more towards you. But when they was throwing these out uh, in the Vietnam War, I believe is when they switched to the A2s. Or maybe it's the A1. I don't know, y'all. Uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, well, whenever they switched to these style rifles, that's just what they had, you know? That's what they gave the military. That's why the military now, they just have all mil-spec stuff. Because they are not, I mean, they can't really build the rifles to them. But uh, that's what I hear a lot of military people say. That's why they like the civilian market, because they can build the rifles actually to them. But for me, y'all, like I said, uh, if I have to, if I had to take one, it would be my 516. Just because I've built it to me, 
16 inch barrel versus a 21 inch heavy barrel versus a 10 and a half inch barrel. They've done studies. 16 inch barrel is just the best all around for velocity and everything. 16 or 14 inch, one of the two, I can't uh, remember. But uh, yeah, for me, I would choose the M4. But this is just a class, nice classic firearm to have in your collection, you know. Uh, this is what we'll do the mag dump with today. So let's get this bad boy loaded up, y'all. All right, y'all. Uh, like I say in every video, I appreciate y'all for rocking with me this long. I hope y'all stay along for the ride, y'all. I appreciate y'all for being here, baby. I appreciate you for being behind the camera. Y'all don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all next time on Brothers Blickies. Peace. Big stepper. 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 Big step